And shortly after quarterback McLean Carter committed to Rutgers as a graduate transfer, former Wisconsin tight end Kyle Pennison gave his pledge to the Scarlet Knights as well. That makes two graduate transfers added to Rutgers' current roster. Kyle has good size, standing at 6 foot 4 inches and 243 pounds. Kyle Pennison played his high school football at Modern Day High School in Santa Ana, California. Kyle was a four-star and ranked as the fifth-best tight end in the nation. Wisconsin was just controlling the line of scrimmage versus Minnesota in the first half by just marching the football down the field and eating the clock up. Wisconsin loves to run the double tight end set, especially when they get into the red zone, because it gives them the ability to bring in extra blockers for any short yard situations they face. Automatically, from a defensive standpoint, you have to respect the run game due to the tight splits the offensive line has and having just one wide receiver on the field. Minnesota is in a 3-4 defense with the cover zero look in the back end of the secondary. We have man coverage across the board with the middle of the field open and 10 defensive players lined up in the box to take away any kind of run plays. Wisconsin dials up a great play action pass to allow Pennison to run an over route in the back of the end zone. With Pennison's size, the quarterback is able to put the football to a spot where only his guy can get it, and Kyle does just that. Wisconsin was trailing against Georgia State 17-13 in the middle of the fourth quarter, looking for a score to regain the lead. Facing a third and goal, the Badgers offense came out in a full house set. In a full house set, we have two fullbacks lined up behind the left and right guards, two tight ends, and no wide receivers. Georgia State was in a 50 front defense, which involves five defensive linemen, two linebackers, and two safeties. The middle of the field is closed with one safety lined up over the top and the second safety inside the box for run support due to Wisconsin's offensive set. Pennison is lined up to the front side and does a nice job of stock blocking for two seconds, then releases into the corner of the end zone. The full house set and play action pass that the quarterback selled on his fake was able to hold the safety in the middle of the field to allow Pennison the extra room to work with on his route. Let's rewind a few years back to 2015 when Kyle was playing for Modern Day High versus St. John Bosco to show you some of the catching ability he possesses in a spread offense from the tight end position. Arguably two of the top high schools in the state of California for football. Modern Day's offense was in a trip set to the field with Pennison lined up in the slot. St. John Bosco is in a 3-4 defense and running a cover three look in the secondary with the middle of the field close. Modern Day motions the third receiver over to the back side and runs a delay bubble screen with him to draw the coverage. Pennison is running a seam route but does a real nice job of attacking the defender's inside shoulder and breaking out on his outside shoulder. By Kyle creating this extra leverage, it allowed him to have the separation he needed at the top of his route. The quarterback throws a back shoulder pass to Pennison to protect his body away from the safety since they are in cover three. Within this play, Kyle shows you the athleticism, body control, and ability to high point the football. Pennison knew the linebacker was flat footed and never moved once the ball was snapped. So Kyle took advantage of the way the defender was playing him. The fluidity on this route and ability to stretch the middle of the field is impressive. Kyle Pennison was a highly recruited player coming out of high school and has shown at modern day high in Wisconsin that he can have an effective impact in both the run and pass game. Kyle is a solid playmaker that has the physical size and attributes to elevate a young offense. Pennison will be a nice addition for Rutgers heading into the fall.